Thank you so much, um, Joanne Ryan, for organizing this event and for the Labor Friends of Israel for putting us such a wonderful, wonderful evening and inviting us from Israel. Thank you so much. respected leaders and members of the Labor Party. The energy in this convention is amazing. We're taking notes, we're learning from you, and we want to make a convention as large as this one yeah. in Israel. Yeah. It is, it is uh, challenging times in Israel. The Labor Party was much stronger than it was for years, but we did not win the election. If you look at what's happening in Israel, there's really a battle between two world views. One of which is Netanyahu's view, according to which, and the Middle East is not an easy place, but Israel should be viewed as a fort. And the other view, which is the view that was founded by our great leaders, Ben Gurion, and by Yitzhak Rabin, is that Israel should be viewed as a creative hub Yes, it does need a strong army, but it needs to be open to the countries around it yeah, yeah. and open to the Palestinians and open to the world. Yeah, yeah. So how are we gonna win? How are we gonna win the next election? Because when you have a campaign of fear in an area which is threatened, it is very difficult to come combat that with a campaign of hope. We are going to come to the Israeli public with two hands. One is a social economic hand, which is the economy of inclusion. Because we, the startup nation, are very proud of our innovation. But we are also concerned of the fact that Israel is not only leading OECD countries with innovation, but it's also leading with poverty and kids' poverty. And we in the Labor Party will want to change that in the North and in the South and in the Arab community and in the ultra-Orthodox communities and include people in the creative economy of Israel as Yitzhak Rabin once did reaching out to those parts of society that were unfortunately left behind. And yet the other part of the vision is a vision, is a vision of coexistence and a vision that calls out to our friends, the Palestinians, and says, we had a bitter conflict for years. We had disputes. We're not going to agree on everything. But we respect you as a people, and we think that the only way in which Ben-Gurion agreed to for the partition of Israel, it agreed to a two-state solution because of the practical need that we do not want to rule over another people, and because of the moral decree that they have a right for their land just like Israel has. <laughs> to add in a relevant manner is not only the Palestinians, but we would like to reach out to the region at large. Because right now there are countries in the region that are ready to cooperate with Israel, that are ready to work with us together, that are ready to find a new vision in the Middle East that will start including new ideas and new hope. But in order to do that, in addition to the vision of cooperation and statesmanship, I have to say honestly, we live in a rough neighborhood and we also need a strategy of security. And that strategy of security needs to be distinguishing between those countries and organizations that are for a settlement and a process in which you settle things and those that are adamantly working against it. So we say, so we say very clearly, and Mr. Corbyn, we need to hear this in Israel, and we need to hear that very loud and clear from you particularly, that yes, we are reaching out to the Palestinian Authority, but the Palestinian Authority, who, want, who we want to work with on a two-state solution, is undermined by the bitter work of the Hamas that's working yeah, to yeah. undermine yeah. the Palestinian Yes, we are reaching out to the Jordanians, but the Jordanians 
We need to say are fighting against the bitter enemy of ISIS and others, and we want to be adamantly against those extreme organizations. And we want to say that we want to work with Egypt, but when it's working against the Al-Qaeda and others, we want to say there's an open hand to those that want to work with us against the extremists, but there needs to be a strategy against the extremists. And we want to say also something about Iran. Because much has been said about whether or not the nuclear deal is good, and we stated our own objections, whether we were in the coalition or the opposition, for one basic reason that we want to say here. When you talk about a 15 or 12 year process in which someone is not going to have a nuclear bomb, you are probably thinking about what's going to happen after that 15 years, and it is causing a mindset of an arms race. But putting the issue of the nuclear uh, uh, discussion with Iran on the side, there is conventional warfare with Iran that we need to address. Because as we are speaking, and you spoke loudly against what's happening in Syria, well, the Syrian regime of Assad is supported now with ammunition and with personnel and with armies from Iran using Syria not only as a proxy state, a proxy military state that sits right on the border of Israel, and using Hezbollah as a proxy state in Lebanon, right on the border of, the, uh, of, of Israel in the north. We have no territorial disputes with the Lebanese. We have no territorial disputes there. And we want to see them on the outside of the periphery of the progress. So as we say yes to the Palestinians, to the moderate forces, to those countries that are willing to fight the extremists, we say no to those organizations that are undermine our very existence and undermine every chance of peace in the Middle East. And we'd like to hear you say it right out loud. Let me just end by saying this. Someone was asking me in a previous, uh, in a previous sure. session, well, give us a vision that has some hope. Well, let me tell you. I come from the younger generations of leaders in the Labor Party. I was an entrepreneur and I was born in a kibbutz. And let me tell you this, there's a new generation in Israel that is committed to a two-state solution, which is committed. years, but the Labor Party will get into power and transform the country with a new beginning, yes. hopefully with the support of its allies. Thank you.